Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this tutorial, I'm we are going to discuss about the API testing interview questions and answers. All right, guys. So let's get started. So guys, uh, before starting out, I just wanted to let you know that uh, this is going to be a series. This is going to be a part of the series Project Automation Tester series, uh, which I will be uh, uh, basically uh, creating. And uh, this uh, this will be like multiple. Uh, part of the series where we will mostly discuss about the in this one especially we will discuss about the in, api testing interview questions that are generally asked and uh, we'll move after that we'll go further and we'll uh, basically learn about the sele uh, selenium interview questions test automation and manual testing interview questions all right so if you are excited let me know in the comments and definitely i'm going to cre create more video around it all right and so let's start with our first one so I hope you are able to see my uh, mind map, right? So uh, these are the five questions right now we are going to target in this video. So uh, I'm not uh, coming up with the, like hundreds of question of UK testing in the single video because that will make the video. Uh, I would uh, it's very long and you will not able to digest the information. All right. So this will be like small, small videos where we will discuss mostly around five to ten questions and that will be uh, uh, like uh, kind of a you can say uh, for a preparation of your api testing interview all right especially for api testing so let's start with the first question uh, the question uh, most of the time generally we ask you what is api testing means what exactly you understand by api testing right so i'm gonna uh, give you the first point it says that uh, basically let me zoom um, let me zoom further so api testing simply means the testing the apis which are created by developer so it simply means this but I, I know if you give this kind of answer in your interview, definitely you are going to get to a negative feedback, right? So let's uh, dive into it, dive further. So uh, generally, as we know that API works, uh, API mainly works on the business layer, right? We have three layers, right? The first layer is your GUI or graphical layer, uh, or we generally call it presentation layer. And we have business layer. And after that, we have database layer, right? So uh, API works mainly at the core business logic. Where, so API is uh, resides mainly where the basic core logic is there, right? So what we are doing is that we are testing that with uh, core logic, whatever it is. All right. For example, let me give you an example. So suppose we have an API where we will send two integers and it will going to return us uh, the sum of that those integers. So now uh, the core logic is returned at the business layer where the integer will be taken and uh, will do some uh, some certain uh, core logic basically kind of a bis some business logic and basically going to return a sum of it so that's what we we are testing here right there will not be there will not be no gui there there will not be ui any kind of ui only the api or endpoint request that we are testing or the bis core business logic if you can so uh, API testing doesn't mean uh, GUI testing. We are not concerned about the look and the feel of UI, right? We are only concerned about the API that is created by a developer. And uh, in the uh, one more thing is that basically we are testing the behavior of API and means how the data is going to send and when we are doing the modifications, when we are creating certain resources. So how these kind of uh, modifications and updations are getting handling, we are testing those things, right? We are testing the core business logic or you can say functional part of it we are testing the type of output we are getting when we do the certain input right and uh, most importantly uh, this is a type of a block black box testing but if you know the structure of means you can go further with with it to the gray box but this is kind of a black box testing where the inputs that you are taking from your api testing are getting uh, you can use uh, like boundary value and equivalence partition <coughs> to uh, create a test case around it all right so that's what we are doing here in the api right so if you want to uh, get more details uh, about the what is uh, going on in the api testing so uh, as an interview uh, you would need to tell that uh, we are basically most of the time testing the api that the, those are created and we are basically verifying the keys verifying the values verifying the expected output that we are uh, will get whenever we do the in this kind of interview right or uh, this kind of uh, input that is given to me all right so i have that i hope that makes sense right so now the second question most of the time is that what are the common test cases or you can say more common tests are performed 
while doing the apis testing right so uh, perform a uh, so uh, let's go go one by one all right uh, and let me undo this thing yeah so most of the cases that we are doing in the apis are revolves around the crud which is basically means that create read update and deletion of the apis right we are verifying the resource creation we are uh, basically verifying the modification and updation of the data structure that are responsible for this apis we are verifying the keys and value that i have already told you where we are verifying the uh, if the apis are creating the data as per a requirement so let's expand it right so basically it means that uh, the whatever the missing required functionalities we need to test them uh, we are testing if there is a improper uh, if we are handling the proper messaging or not means any kind of improper messaging we we are testing it we are basically testing the api reliability we are testing if they respond to multi threading and uh, there is there will be some proper handling of the issues for example if we pass null values in the input fields of uh, the apis uh, what uh, how it's going to respond with the status code or what kind of things right and we are not repeating a uh, certain kind of code so that uh, we will have some performance issues in the api we are testing that thing also right and in the keys and value pair i have like three points like basically we are testing the mini we, we can test like maximum minimum values boundary values equivalence partition null values and we are also like uh, interested in validation of uh, this you validation of schemas that uh, these apis are created because schemas are important because uh, if uh, there is a change in the structure of an api then definitely uh, what will happen is that you, whenever they are in getting integrated with the with your gui it will create a problem right so we need to make sure that the validations of schemas are also present right and similarly in the rest we are basically uh, testing the http response code and the headers means what kind of headers they are getting we are and uh, uh, most of the things revolves around is yes, whenever we doing we are doing the api testing all right so uh, let's come to third question which is basically means uh, basically asking us what which type of tool you use for doing the api testing so i'm going to give a few tools which basically uh, we have used and uh, uh, the first one which is like a most important one i would say is the postman and if you are interested to learn more about postman you can watch my videos the videos go to testingacademy.com and you will find it and uh, sorry for that uh, yeah so uh, i would say it's a best uh, automation tool for doing the manual api testing especially but you can automate the uh, automate uh, the scripts and create certain human scripts and run them uh, continuously using ci or cd on jenkins and docker you can watch my tutorial for further if you want and if you want more details about my course go to the learnapitesting.com and you will find more information about the api testing especially using the postman all right so uh, another tool is rest assured which is like if uh, what are the tools uh to do api testing specially and it's again bdd style which is a behavior driven uh development and uh, it, it is another great tool crate dsl is a newcomer which is basically a bdd style and it's allow you to do parallel execution as well as load testing so right now it's a very new tool and uh, as so uh, you can look around if you wanted to learn about it so ui uh, it's again large scale for using the large scale api testing uh, so ui was one of the great tool but it's a paid tool and run scope is another paid tool but it's very slow we have used it extensively and it serves the purpose but it's very slow uh, ketlon studios api testing module is another important one it's good one but uh, we haven't tried it much since these are new testing tools so you can uh, learn about them all right so uh, another interesting question generally asked is that what is the difference between api testing and unit testing so let me expand both of them so that we can understand clearly that api testing is basically you uh, ba most of the time uh, the api testing is done by testers whereas the unit testing is done by developers right api testing is mainly black box whereas unit test uh, are mainly white box right uh, in unit testing basically we are testing the small functions and modules and we have very limited scope and basic functionality to test right and most of the time the unit test that we have written are uh, resides on code level and they require source code to execution right whereas api test are uh, they have large scope they are mostly the black box test uh, black box kind of testing we do black box kind of testing in that 
and this is mostly done after whenever we have an API endpoints are already created and we don't require certain kind of source code to execute it we just require the uh, created APIs and endpoints where we can send our payloads and expect and do the API testing accordingly right so that's the main difference between both of them all right so this was another interesting question that most of the time asked and it was like asked to me also and i'm going to give you a few of the details it's the question related to what are the major challenges are included whenever we are doing the api testing it's a kind of similar way means how you are doing the api testing right so basically the challenges are i will tell you that the most of the important challenge is that sometimes uh, we need to test the proper flow for example there is a request request one two three four five and if we want to that uh, if second request fails or second request has some output that we need to use in fourth request or third request some, sometimes uh, something like this right so uh, that that is an, another important challenge uh, one of the important challenge that we encountered and uh, means if you are using certain kind of tools like postman or all you can uh, use uh, like set next set ne next request function yes and uh, that can solve your problem but most of the time the proper flow of the api testing is uh, very challenging in most of the tools and other Another points are output of the validations and verification uh, of the manual. Uh, manual API testing is very difficult and it can be a very time consuming. Whereas a uh, different type of parameter validation is another uh, challenge most of the time when we, are, when we are doing the API testing. And parameter categorization is another challenge that we have encountered, especially related to the API testing. You can read more about them, but uh, these are the uh, like five major uh, things that you can uh, tell them uh, that uh, these are challenging uh, these are the like challenges uh, most of the time comes in api testing so all right guys so i hope uh, you are able to understand uh, you are basically get, uh, getting this uh, the five major questions that are asked in api testing interviews and if you have find any kind of value in these videos let me know in the comments and i will definitely going to reply and i will be very happy if you are uh, uh, finding some values in these kind of videos right so and in the next upcoming videos we are going to tackle five more or five to ten more questions related to api testing and we'll basically do this exercise until we are uh, basically going to master this api testing right so i, I want you to uh, basically uh, be ready 100 percent ready to master the api testing so that's what uh, my goal is and if you are with me definitely we are going to achieve this all right so uh, thanks a lot guys and have a nice day and do not forget to like share and subscribe and uh, please share this video and so that other people can also benefit and uh, thanks a lot and have a nice day bye